Hello and welcome to my video. So in this video I'll be talking about how I made my pool ball keychains. So in order to make these I made a bunch of tin foil balls and I wanted to make sure these balls were really tightly wrapped because I found when I was testing this out and um, oven baking the clay that the polymer clay would bubble up a little bit around the air pockets inside the tin foil. So I made this, I hammered the tin foil balls a little bit, not, not to an extreme but I hammered them a little bit um, and this was the inside of the balls because I didn't want to use all clay um, because because that's just a lot of clay that I'm using up. I also wanted to make sure that when I was covering these, I didn't leave any air pockets, cracks, or anything like that. So I tried to make them really smooth and perfect balls. Because, you know, um, a pool ball is really smooth. And then I baked them inside the oven. And uh, I also baked these along with some of the animal keychains I made. If you want to see how I made those, um, I'm making another video about those. Because um, they're a little bit more complicated. Um, but I'll be, that's a different video, so go check that out. <clears throat> and then I spray paint them white. So this was the primer. So then I could paint them with acrylic paint. So I found when I was painting them, when I didn't prime them, it made it really hard to get the opaque look I wanted. I wanted the paint to look really opaque, and I wanted these to have a very solid color and didn't look like it was painted at all or handmade. I wanted to make them make them look, you know, manufactured or really nice. I also did um, buy some resin, and I'm going to cover these um, pool balls inside resin, so then they look really shiny too, and they're really durable. Um, because with the just the acrylic paint, it does end up scratching off if you really tried. Um, they are still durable with, at this point with acrylic paint and just polymer clay. Um, so you can definitely just continue the, with this, or you, you can definitely just make these keychains without resin, but I think it's just more durable and looks nicer because it's shiny. Um, for this process, I painted a white dot, uh, white circle, on each of the balls, and then I looked up online references to pool balls, and I just, you know, simply painted on the numbers. I did enjoy making this this project. I think it's a really cheap and fun project, so if you want to try it out yourself, it's really fun. All you have to buy is tin foil, polymer clay, which is generally cheap, and then I picked up some of these on Amazon. So you get 200 or 600 pieces or something like that, but they're bas basically screws that you screw into um, the polymer clay. And then you use um, these um, to put the key rings on for, like, you know, the keychains. And I bought key, key rings on Amazon for around five bucks. I think the key ring and the screws were around five bucks each. Um, so it was a really cheap project. This was a really easy, simple, fun project. So I hope you enjoyed and um, try it out yourself. And it's a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Yes, I'm gonna put a fly. Baby, you give me a fly.